Hey guys, so if you're new to the channel, my name's Daniel and I like to make videos for fun. They're kind of related to tech, engineering, and just my personal life as of now. And this video is just gonna be about how I make my videos and set up my rig, that sort of stuff. If you're interested in that, please stick around. If you learn anything from this video, it's that I have a shopping addiction for camera equipment. I couldn't think of any other videos to make today, so this is what we're doing. Uh, so yes, I have camera one. That's uh, my A camera for my face. And then I also have an overhead camera, which is my second camera. Both are Sony. I have this Sony A7C and the first ever Sony Alpha camera. So I also have an external monitor whenever I wanna do an overhead shot for my A7. Um, it doesn't have a flip out screen, so that's why I have an external monitor for that. So for my light setup, I have a key light. I think that's what it's called, like the main light that shines on my face. Uh, I got it from Amazon. It's pretty cheap. I think it was like 30 bucks. Uh, and it came with two, I only use one of them because it takes up a lot of space. And the other two are the Aperture MCs. They are a lot of fun to play with because they have many colors, they have different effects as well, but I've never messed with that. I just needed to add some depth and some color to uh, my videos. But yeah, that covers uh, lighting for the most part. Uh, I try to keep the blinds closed so I can control the lighting in my videos. Because I don't know if you've noticed, I actually kept my blinds open this video. So if you notice like the light changing, that's why. The reason is like my my cat Peach is at the windowsill and I can't disturb her. Yeah, so my latest gear is the i the eye footage slider. I think it's like the Shark Nano. Either way. But uh, yeah, it's motorized. It goes, you know, side to side, but it also tilts. So that's one of the reasons I got it. Uh, it definitely helps add a little bit more, you know like cool cinematic shots. So yeah, that's my slider. Okay, so for my lenses, I have uh, I have a, a Nifty 50. To be honest, I bought this a long time ago. I've only used it a handful of times and it's more for photography and I haven't done photography in a hot minute, I'm trying to lean towards video. Uh, I also had this Arokinon 40, uh, 14 millimeter. Yeah, but as you can see it, uh, it broke, so I don't know. It's just decorative as of now. <laughs> I like to have it just because it just looks nice. And I also have the Tamron 14 to 28 millimeter. It's really great quality and gives you that like wide angle. So like, see I can get closer. That's, yeah. So I use the Tamron for all my like talking shots because it captures everything behind me and adds a little bit more depth. I also have this stock lens that came with the A7 and it's just a 28 to 70 millimeter. Those are my lenses, and uh, I guess I can show you my drawer next. <laughs> so the office is also my bedroom. So, you know, it's not comfortable having a bunch of camera equipment out, you know, at the end of the day. So I try to put everything away and only take things out when I'm shooting videos. In the drawer, you'll find extra batteries, uh, lens caps, some base plates, and that's also where I charge a bunch of my stuff. But last but not least, I also use my iPad for some of that, like, writing animation you see sometimes. So what I do is I go into Procreate, open up a file and then just have like a, ba a black background because that's really important. And then I just like write whatever I want. What I do is I export that video from my iPad, airdrop it onto my MacBook and from my MacBook, I edit it into the video. That's pretty much how I shoot all my videos. That's the equipment I use. So after I finish shooting, what I do is I take out my SD card from both cameras and just drop all the files onto my hard drive. And then from there, I open up Final Cut Pro, open up a library, start a new project, and start editing. Uh, I realize most of my time is spent shooting. Editing isn't that hard. The hardest thing about it is probably picking the right song, if there's gonna be a song. So yeah, that's pretty much my creative workflow, how I you know start a video all the way to editing and eventually publishing. So I'll have to admit, uh, the hardest part about shooting is talking to the camera. Uh, getting comfortable with doing that is taking some time, but uh, you know, practice makes perfect. So yeah, that's my, uh, that's my video for today. <laughs> if you have any comments or thoughts, please let me know. How do you shoot your videos? Uh, if you know of any more equipment I can probably invest in, please let me know. I'm a sucker for that. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.